Did you guys hear the big news? Cricut has come out with a print and cut update that we have been asking for for months, maybe even years. And I'm so excited to bring it to you all today and show you how you can use it in Design Space right now. So previously with the print and cut feature, you were only able to cut within a very small parameter. Cricut has listened to the customers and they have updated the print and cut features so that we can cut up to a tabloid size or an A3 size paper, which is so amazing. And I'm gonna show you all how to do that right now. So I am in Design Space as we speak and I am already in the beta version of Design Space. So a lot of times whenever Cricut releases updates, they will need you to go into the beta version while they're still testing things out and kind of working out the kinks. They do a slow release of the new updates to certain Cricut customers. It's just kind of randomly placed throughout design space. So I'm gonna show you all how to switch to beta version if you are currently in the live version. So we're just gonna select the top left three lines and then we're gonna come down to settings and then right here under general, you can see application experience and then there's beta and there's live. Now, typically we are living in the live experience, but whenever they release these new updates, you're gonna want to make sure that you were in the beta experience. So I went ahead and selected beta and then you're gonna select done. Now, if you have not been in the beta version yet, it's going to automatically close and reload Cricut Design Space. So make sure if you're working on anything that you save your project before you switch to the beta version. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your machine is calibrated. So we'll go back to this top left menu and then you can see there's a calibration option right here. Now we have tons of videos on the channel showing you all how to do this within any of our print and cut videos. We usually go through the calibration process. So go ahead and do that. And all you're gonna need to do is just follow the prompts on the screen and it's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. So previously in Cricut Design Space, you were gonna only be able to cut up to 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches. And that was a problem, especially for people who are wanting to make large decals for shirts, large decals as stickers and things like that. Well, the update for Cricut is going to allow us to cut up to an A3 size paper and even a tabloid size paper. Now, A3 is 11 by 16 and a half inches, allowing us to cut 10.64 by 15.43. So you all, this is huge. This is gonna allow us to cut very, very big projects, which is so amazing because there are so many crafts that we like to do using larger images. So let me show you all what happens whenever I make this image very, very big. So right now it's at 14 by 19. And you can see in our layers panel, we're getting this little warning image. So I'm just going to select this right here. And you can see it says image is too large for eight and a half by 11 paper. We've detected that the max size for this shape is 6.75 by 9.27. And that's because I have my page size set to eight and a half by 11 still. So what you can do in the top left corner we can go down to settings, load type, and you can see that I've still got my print and cut page size set to eight and a half by 11. Now they did update the eight and a half by 11 print and cut so it fills up the entire page, but we want to print this on a big sheet of paper. So let's try the A3 for this example. So you can see it's got the measurements right here and then I'm going to select done. Now it doesn't do anything right now, but what you can do is come back to the layers panel, select that little red icon, and then you can auto resize your image and it's going to adjust it to these measurements right here, which are gonna fit within those A3 paper measurements. So I'm gonna select auto size re-image and you can see it automatically adjusts our image so, so that it will fit perfectly on our A3 paper. Now, if we go to make it, you're gonna be able to see this on the paper. So we can already see on the Make It page that the bounding box looks a little bit different than it did before. Typically the bounding box would go around the entire image and now we've just got the four corners. 
This is gonna allow us to move this up, down, and around if you need to. But y'all, you can see when I zoom out, this is going on a 12 by 24 inch mat. So you will need a 12 by 24 inch mat in order to do print and cut images this big. And you will also need a wide format printer if you are deciding to do something like this. Okay, another way that you can adjust your image, say we've blown it up really big and we're still getting this little icon right here. You can also change the page size through this link right here. And you can see right here, the print and cut page size, you've got the drop down menu right here. So if you were still on eight and a half by 11, you could change it this way to A3. Um, let's go ahead and change it to tabloid and see what that does for us. So I'm gonna select done. And you can see our image does not adjust. So you're gonna need to click here and then auto resize image. And then for the tabloid size, you can see that it adjusts it to a 9.93 by 13.62. Let's go ahead and go to the Make It page and look at that one. So the tabloid pages are a little bit skinnier than the A3, and that's fine. It's just going to depend on whatever paper that you've got in hand that you are needing to use. So I've showed you more in detail how to work with the wide format printing or the super large print and cut. Now, if you've just got a standard inkjet printer or just like a standard sublimation printer or something like that, um, I want to show you the perk of being able to auto resize your image to fit within an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So right now my image is pretty big. I went and changed in my settings our low type back to eight and a half by 11. Typically that's what I'm going to be doing with my print and cut. What is really nice is having this auto resize image because now instead of manually moving this up and down, I can just select auto resize image and it's gonna fit my image into that eight and a half by 11 bounding box. So you can see when we go over to make it, it's gonna fill it up as big as possible. As you can see, this is gonna be super beneficial in the craft world. This is something that we have been asking for forever. And y'all, when I heard that this was released, I was like, we have to get on this. Like, show me now, I wanna see it. Because we do so many print and cut projects with our Cricut, and this is just gonna be super helpful when it comes to other print and cut projects that we're doing. I hope that you all learned something new in this video today. We are so excited to bring this to you. If you are curious about print and cut projects, we've got tons of videos on our channel for you all to see. If you are new here, make sure to click subscribe and hit the little bell so you're notified every time that we post new videos. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye.